Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how I failed the CPTS exam from Hack the Box, when I will be starting the exam, which will actually take place today, Wednesday, 9.18 at 7 p.m. CST, maybe 6 p.m. CST, we'll see, but for sure 7 p.m. CST is when I will officially restart the exam. Also gonna go over my future uh, certification roadmap uh, changes for the rest of 2024. I know we only got a couple more weeks until Q4. And also I'm going to talk about where I plan to head my direction on any certs for 2025 and also some career goals and sites I have for 2025 and cybersecurity as a whole. And pretty much uh, let's get into this video. So, like I said, I did fail the CPTS exam due to time. I didn't fail because I couldn't do it. Uh, pretty much, it was kind of last minute notice to uh, got invited to speak uh, for my job at the physical security uh, conference that they had in-house. And also, what, why I was asked to do this is because it had a touch with cyber. I have a background in physical security, as most of you know from my previous videos. Um, and pretty much to build those relationships within the two teams and also show more than just how malicious devices are just from a USB standpoint um, and how I would do it uh, from a gray area uh, and a red team pretty much almost to simulate the effect of taking over a cruise ship um, and some of these devices. So some of my last video, those are most of them that I brought. I did bring some others that probably shouldn't show because uh, I don't know if YouTube would ban it. Uh, but pretty much that was that, uh, pretty much how to make sure everything was charged, updated, working, making sure some of the demonstrations I had were planned out and good to go, um, which they were. So that took a lot of time. Um, also putting together some of the charts, uh, PDFs that we had, um, going over the devices, uh, kind of at a high level to show some of the teams that never even seen these before, never even knew that they existed. Um, gave them some, you know, on, on the stuff that I've made, given some examples that pretty much for those that have seen Mr. Robot, um, pretty much all those hacks are real. The only thing that's not obviously real is the fast forwarding of the time of them actually happen. And obviously that's for the movie TV reasons. No one's going to sit there for two, two weeks to five, eight months planning a red team engagement like that or social engineering engagement. So that's the hints of, you know, speeding up the time in that show. But however, they're all they're all real and authentic and they have been done in the past. So that was pretty much my goal is to get them aware of certain devices, pretty much how they shouldn't be allowed on the cruise ships. Um, I don't know their policies at that time and also wasn't trying to demand them to change, but gave them some recommendations that if guests come in with these devices, they, these devices shouldn't be allowed on the, on the cruise ships. So um, that's pretty much was that, that pretty much took a lot of my time working with the teams that, uh, were involved on the cyber site setting up the setting up the event on our behalf. They did a great job working with them, uh, you know, getting things prepared and what we're going to do and how we're going to present, um, why we're going to present it, stuff like that. Making sure it was good to go and engaging for the physical security team and some of the cruise members as well, cruise ship members. Um, so that's pretty much why you know the time got ahead of me and I had to put that as priority. Um, but it's all good. However, I did have to pay for a new voucher, uh, $249, uh, which, you know, for me, uh, I had no choice but to do it. I didn't get my voucher and I, I'm assuming that, I mean, I got my, my new voucher. What I mean is I didn't get my extra attempt and I'm assuming if you don't turn anything in, you lose your extra attempt or if you purchase it past that 365 a, a year, you lose your extra attempt. So whatever the case is, I purchased it anyway. I'm going to, this video is being shot today, 918, and I will be, again, starting my exam tonight at 7 p.m. CST. Hopefully to get it done by Monday, end of day, that includes the report sent in to hack the box. That is my goal. Um, also, after that, I am going to finish the pathway for the certified bug bounty hunter from hack the box. Um, and then hopefully jumping into that exam uh, I want to say sometime the end of October or possibly even November 4th weekend. 
Um, I am going to back to my homeland, San Jose, uh, October 24th uh, through the 27th, uh, through the 28th. I uh, got to get the kids' passports, but I'm also going to be attending the Silicon Valley Cybersecurity Summit. Uh, and also, we'll be going to the Cowboy 49er game. Hopefully, the Cowboys can pull it out this time uh, since I've been there every game since the playoffs that they played a couple years ago. Um, so that being said, going to network there, um, hopefully, and I'll touch on why I'm going there in a minute, but also again, back to what I was saying, the CB, CBBH certified bug bounty hunter exam. After that, I'm going to fall right into the, uh, PJWT. I think that's what it is from TCM. Um, and also going to be the two ones that I want to comp- accomplish that I have to do for work. one that I have to do for work is a CRTO, which I'm also doing. I do that in the mornings. Um, and then also I want to do either the OSEP and OSWE as well in the background. Uh, I haven't touched the OSEP. I don't even think I would be able to finish it this year. However, the OSWE, I have done the training, um, started that last year. Uh, I wasn't a fan of it. I actually think the OSEP was way better than it in my opinion. But uh, I am trying to get one of those, and it's probably going to be the OSWE. Uh, if I can't fit the OSEP, I will. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'm even doing the training now. But um, those are one of the two ones that I want to get done, especially how Offsec. I actually want to get them both done, especially how Offsec did their changes. I want to get it before they start doing that tack on to these other ones out, you know, outside of the OSEP with the plus, and you got to do the uh, CPEs through them, which I think is a bunch of shit. Um, and I just hope, really hope hack, hack the box takes over, uh, the realm. So that's my path, uh, you know, for the rest of the year, as far as 2025, where I want to go, I want to start diving into more building out a, the, I guess the new buzzword is the black team, the physical security portion of red teaming, um, physical pen tests. Want to start getting into that more, uh, a lot more, even though that is my niche. Um, I want to start getting that into that more and also uh, building out programs for that, especially on the side if I can as a consultant. Um, and I also want to start looking at doing my own thing locally in the DFW area, helping out small to, to medium-sized businesses with uh, pen tests or even red team social engineering engagements or physical pen test engagements as well, um, just to help them out. Uh, you know, I know they can't pay... F- or can't afford the big, you know, from the big four, KPMG, PC, PWC, and all that stuff. Um, so uh, always help out to keep it local and other cities as well. Um, so doing that on the side, I think that would be great. Not only that, get to see a lot of different environments and and learn new uh, tips, tricks, and techniques, and also keep the, the skills and resume fresh. So, and also, you know, I've always wanted to do something on, on the side, Uh, I finally, you know, switched over to cyber offensive security, no matter what area it is, even the web API. um, That's my goal, uh, you know, to get into those realms, but also just to be a well-defined practitioner in offensive security, kind of like a Swiss army knife, as I was called in physical security, but also in offensive security. I'll never know it all, but I want to know enough to be dangerous um, in all aspects of it. Um, And you got to keep, you you can't stop learning. You got to be, you got to be ahead of the trends and the curves, but also going to get left behind. You're pretty much going to go extinct. Um, so as far as my 2025, those are my, my 2025 goals and aspirations career wise, as far as certs. Um, again, it's probably going to be either the OSEP or OSWE, but probably OSEP uh, beginning of the year. And then in parallel, I also want to do the adva- advanced web uh, pen testing one from hack the box, really dive through that training. Um, I don't care if it takes me six months, uh, but I want to know that like the back of my hand. Um, and I, and that's going to be one of the big ones, at least for me, accomplishment, uh, getting the web portion of it. And then after that, i also want to do the CRTO two, uh, for next year and possibly even, um, some kind of uh, exploit development, whether that's from Offsec. I haven't really dived into the Offsec one, but that would also be one of the f- first goals of accomplishment that I wanted to get to get there. Was it OSCE three? Um, that's one of the the goals. I when I first started reading into officially moving into Offsec full time, 
Um, that, that was one of my goals to get. Um, and I didn't really know how OFSEC was as far as their training um, until I started doing more research and actually did it uh, back in uh, this November 2021 for OSCP. So that's where I want to go for 2025, uh, just at a high level. Um, I know things might change. And oh, also, I want to get into, uh, what is it, Cloud, Cloud Breach IO, I think it is. I want to do uh, those certs as well, both for Azure and AWS. Uh, I think having those under your belt, especially with the cloud being real big nowadays and possibly just even growing, um, especially in the tech industry, a lot of things are migrating to the cloud, uh, either AWS or Azure. Not trying to leave Google out, but I haven't really seen that much on Google uh, as far as infrastructure. Maybe I'm wrong, but at least from my knowledge and people I've talked to in the tech industry, uh, it's not really as big as those two, those two meaning Azure and AWS. Um, so again, pretty much this video is just to kind of touch on why I failed, where I'm at. I will give some pointers. This exam is harder than the OSCP and TCM. Someone asked me, should I start out the pathway as a beginner? I'm never going to say no, because I'm the kind of guy that will throw the dice and take risk 100%. Uh, but I did have a background in uh, Linux. Um, if you don't have a background in Linux or any kind of network basic knowledge, I would not recommend this to start out. I would do the TCM route. Then I would go OSCP or TCM to C, uh, CPTS. I would just, I mean, you're gonna have to pay for OSCP to take the exam anyway. And, and currently right now it's a standard. Um, I would just, however you need to get that money allocated for OSCP, but I would go through the CPTS first pathway, do the OSCP, and then take the CPTS. Uh, CPTS is a lot harder than out of the three. Uh, it's the hardest one. And by far, um, again, I think this, is, this right now is a standard and should be the standard uh, going forward for offensive security. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much, pretty much how I would do it. Uh, again, make sure you have a good understanding knowledge of Linux and also networking uh, basics, right? That would be my, my goal. Um, if, if I didn't have those, to under, get a good understanding of those, pretty much know Linux like the back of your hand and then jump into offensive security. And you can even do some on the side as well from uh, try hack me, um, especially some of the free stuff. So that way you're, you're kind of have it in your head, you're thinking about it, you're learning some basics, stuff like that. That would be my recommendation. Um, I wouldn't recommend someone to go full go. Um, I'm not saying you can't do it. I have the mindset of I can't, failure's not an option, right? That's how I, I operate. Everyone's not the same. So that's why I wouldn't rec highly recommend it for anyone to do it like that. Um, but if you have that kind of mindset, go for it. Um, you know, as long as failure's not an option, you can do it. Um, so that's my opinion on that. Um, again, if you don't have any Linux knowledge or, or any, any knowledge of Linux, never use it, don't even know what it is, I wouldn't recommend it. Go Linux first, networking. You can do those at the same time. Uh, start running Linux. Use Linux as your main, your, your main go-to for your laptop and learn it that way. That's how I learned it back in the day. Um, so that's it for the video. <clears throat> Please comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. I've um, got some more training coming out, tutorials coming out for the Cali New Build. So got the Wi-Fi video I'm going to be recording this week and uh, Pit My Cali. I'm also going to be doing some uh, Wi-Fi pineapple as well, um, some Bash Bunny, possibly OMG cables and uh, rubber ducky stuff. Um, and then going forward, uh, going to go going to have a video of the CPTS, whether I fail again or pass the exam. Um, so yeah, look forward to those videos. Uh, catch you guys next time. Have a good one.